Nick hosting again. Uh, today we are doing uh, an update video on something that we watched, or we talked about a while ago. And today I have with me Benny, Andy, and Noah again, the the main boys. Hey. The boys are back in town. The boys, boys are, back are back in, in town. town. Yeah, there you go. Hey. <laughs> Lovely. Hey. Hey. So why are we talking about Local 58 again, boys? Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. They they uploaded a new episode on Halloween. Gosh. Actually, technically it was November 1st, but yeah, you get close enough. Hey, yes, Dia de los Muertos, Mexican Halloween, baby. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what happened in this episode? You want us to do a recap? Well, it, I was just going to say, yeah. it was different. It I feel was. like it was very this, yeah. different. This it one felt also... a lot more like effects heavy. It was very '90s. It was be it, well. Yeah. It was because it, mm-hmm. it said produ- produced in 1994. That was like the 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 lore of this episode. Is it takes place in '94? It's got mm-hmm. that tape I grain check. to it. Yeah. yeah, like like a VHS recorder. Yeah, VHS, yep. and it was uh, it was another news broadcast again. It was like uh, I forget what time it was in the morning this time. It was like midnight. I yeah, think. it was like midnight, and it said sky watching, and then it uh like hard cuts to. Static and then to well, it starts out with like a it starts out with like a logo of like you think of like you know one of those like late night science shows that you'd see yeah. on PBS guy yeah. watching and then it cut and then it does another hard cut to the VHS quality yeah and this one it's about the moon again mm-hmm. because it's what it's all about it's always about the moon yeah. and uh, we got this guy it just it's got sky watching on the TV and then it like starts zooming in on the moon. And a lot of stuff is happening on this moon. Yeah, I don't it's know what's like, going on, but something is. Well, we should probably we should probably back it up and kind of yeah, go yeah. through point by point. Okay. Mm-hmm. The first thing you th- so it starts out, you know, oh, it's a sky watching thing, and then the music all distorted and stuff, and it cuts to mm-hmm. uh, some dude literally standing in his backyard. It looks like, it, or like in the woods or something, uh, zooming in and showing you, oh, here's Orion's belt. Here's the Pleiades. That's right. Here's yeah. some other. Yeah, yeah, he's like the, going through all the constellations. And then the third constellation he looks at, he zooms in on the moon. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. he zooms in on the moon and it just says his throne. Yeah, that's so right. That's, that's right. So I guess like with the, he was just looking at the stars and then as soon as he caught a glimpse of the moon, mm-hmm. something happened. That's what I get from it anyway. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I get from well, it. Well, it like hard cuts after Pleiades... I believe that's, I don't know if that's the way it's pronounced, but yeah, it like cuts that's, that's to a different it. shot of like trees and the moon. And that's where it starts to get weird. Like before it's pretty normal, but then it like, cause the first two shots of the Orion and the Pleiades, they're pretty normal. It just looks like they're looking at the sky. And then the second one has the moon in it with the, with the trees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And th- that what's to be noted about that too, is like, like you're saying this, uh, there are clouds covering the moon in this mm-hmm. shot. Mm-hmm. Whereas in the other shots, there were no clouds, and you could see the sky clearly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, I think with this one, it's the more, it's one of the more quote unquote normal ones because nothing really, like, I, once again, I was, this series has me on edge because I'm <laughs> waiting for this jump scare that never yeah, happens. <laughs> and, oh, gosh, that's, I love it, but I hate it. So he was just looking at the moon, and then he was messing with the contrast. Yeah. And the yeah. Uh, he was messing with the contrast with the colors with, too. I think the with brightness the, and the white. Yeah, yeah, with thing. the visual settings, but nothing really much happened. Like it's no. really just a. No, I mean, it's just kind. Of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just a p- picture of the moon, and then it says his throne. Yeah. But it also like zooms in on these weird like yeah, kind of it's like electricity iris looking yeah like electricity it looks like, pulsing the eye, or like an eye mm-hmm. it looks like it's the surface of the moon but it also looks like I don't know like soap or something it looks really weird it's like like under a yeah. microscope or everything's something. like flowing towards a central point yeah on yeah. the and moon then it, and then it shows this like arrow yeah. or like a triangle yeah it's really yeah. weird. And then it, and then at the end he like gets up and like starts walking in front of the camera. Yeah, to the and moon like or whatever. raises his hand and it says like rejoice. Yeah, it's really weird. Oh yeah, I forgot about the rejoice part. Yeah. So I yeah, wonder if so. I wonder if the previous constellations that he showed us, so Orion and Pleiades, 
I wonder if that means anything or that's just like a red herring or because yeah. you know how most of the videos start out normal but don't end up normal. Mm -hmm. So it's it's are the constellations part of the normal phase of the video, so to speak. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm like watching the video back now and I'm looking at like the surface of the moon looks like there's like a bunch of like craters in it. And there's like, of course, there's craters on the moon. That's not what I mean. But like it looks different and there's like flowing energy through these. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it doesn't look. It looks like clouds of dust. And they're, like at first yeah. I thought, oh, it's just clouds getting in front of the camera. But as he zooms over, you see they're all coming toward a certain point like a. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. Yeah, but then also the moon like gets big too. Like it gets yeah. way bigger. Like and well, it disappears first. Yeah. It does. He zooms out and it's gone, mm -hmm. and you uh, see the clouds there. And then yeah. after that, um, he changes the lens again, which is I think is what he's doing. Yeah, but say so there's no way um, a '90s camera dark. could pick up that much detail. And then everything, and then it, 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 it like explode. Like there's a huge bright flash, and there it is, and it's massive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the arrow. I don't know what the but arrow the, means. No, I don't know. It no, it doesn't fit anything else on the moon because everything on the moon looks kind of yep. jagged. And yeah, the moon just there's not really any straight lines. But that's it very almost looks like. Yeah, it almost looks like he's like I'm looking at the screenshot right now, and it almost looks like it's like circuitry behind it. Like yeah. you know how like there's Maybe. holes and craters in the moon. It almost looks like circuitry, but I don't know if that's like intended or if it's just that's what the craters on the moon look like or. Mm. What? But yeah, it definitely looks like either man-made or like made by intelligent hands. You know that that arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think also like towards the end of the video, the I mean if we're following the 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 theory of of beings from uh, whether they be aliens or interdimensional, um, like when it says rejoice, yeah, obviously they're trying to get us to buy into their message that they're good. You know, mm -hmm. like maybe they're trying to trick us into thinking that they're good. Which yeah. would, I mean, propaganda, like it almost seems like they're using propaganda to to try yeah. to get to, to to buy us into the their ideas yeah, their or mindset their, or something. Yeah, their their mindset. But also what I also was thinking is what if they rejoice? Because remember how we we're saying that there's the 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 beings but there's also the people in the station in local 58 yeah what yeah. if what if the rejoice comes from the people who are trying to fight back that's true how would that fit in i don't know i well last time we said that a possibility is that there are more than one parties doing this thing like we said the whole oh, there's the yeah. hum there's the guys fighting back and then there's a, uh a lot of theories say that there's there's possible it's possible that there's more than one, I guess we would consider foreign or alien entities fighting for control. Yeah. So in that in that vein, you could say that the there one thing is better than the other, or at least that's what they're thinking. Hmm. Yeah, I w I don't think this is um. I think this this is a third party. This sky watching because if you like freeze frame, his name is only on there for a second. It's sky watching with Hank Heidemann. So it's like, yeah. so I don't think it would be local 58 trying to fight back. I think they're just trying to show like, Hey, this is what happens when you look at the moon, you start, you know, worshiping the moon, I guess at some, to some degree. I feel like it's more of a, I feel like it's more of the, the evil entities taking control. Cause I don't know why they would broadcast that. Yeah. Other than like, Hey, we are good. We are. Yeah. The, the moon is what to look at. Look at the sky. Yeah. Well, and also, like, is, oh, go ahead. What I was going to say is like, why is he messing with the contrast and with the brightness and with the video settings? Yeah. How does he, like, well, he does an image of it. He does it early on with the Pleiades one, or Orion. He does it early on with one of the regular ones. Yeah, he, and he zooms just messes out. So you yeah. can see it better. He zooms out, and then, uh, yeah, he starts messing with uh, the contrast and the brightness and all that for um, Pleiades, Pleiades, Pleiades. Yeah. So do we think that, that this guy who was recording the video, is he part of them or is he part of us or like I think he's part of them now because 
he walks in front of the camera and starts praising the moon. So mm-hmm. and it's definitely a, and it's definitely a human. It's definitely yeah. uh, and you can kind of see a little bit of skin tone too. So yeah, it's definitely a guy. Also, if you notice, the moon. Whenever he starts messing with stuff, like the moon is kind of waning, like you can only see half of it. But then by the right. end, you can see the entire moon perfectly. Right, mm-hmm. and it's not even the same sort of texture you expect from the standard moon. Like yeah. when you look at the mo- the image of a of a of a full moon, the a lot of those distinct features aren't there. In fact, it's it's vastly different. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a different moon. So are we saying our moon? Well, is- I mean, okay, it honestly. In a in some way looks like, uh, something cracked out of it, or like it opened in some way, or yeah. something. Yeah, it cracked like open. Like it's an egg. Mm. <laughs> Maybe, like because you can. It looks almost like uh at the on the lower part of it. I have it kind of a the big form of the moon. If you if you pause it before he steps in front of it, um, down at the bottom looks like, you know, like uh bones, like uh from a. I don't know. Oh, like a fossil, a or fossil something. or something. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Oh, you're right. It does. It looks like um, looks like it almost has like a skull at the front of it. Let me see. Let me... The time code three three uh three thirty seven. That's yeah, it looks like it's got its like legs propped up like close like in a fetal position almost. Yeah. And there's like a or... chunk taken out of it. I my immediately immediate thought was oh whoa. Look, like, the, especially the lower ones. The lower one looks kind of like a wing. You know, oh, like almost. a like uh from a bird, like whoa, that's well, remember, weird. Oh my god! Remember, remember that in uh in show for children, that bird there was like a bird type skeleton. Yeah, that was in his, one of the graves. Yeah, that was his friend. Oh. The bird was. I see. I oh did my it look? Gosh. It looks like an one? owl. It looks like an owl. Yeah, it looks like an owl. There's yeah. like a Doctor Who episode about the. Oh moon. my gosh! Yeah. This is creepy. Like, this is really creepy. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's the being. But like it seems like it's fossilized. It doesn't seem like it's maybe living. Well, well, that makes sense with fluid stuff because it's like a, it's like a, um, like a birth fluid or something. Oh, ew. Ooh. maybe it's like <laughs> rejuvenating and it's coming back. Maybe, maybe it's like, yeah. But why would it be? Why would it show itself? Yeah, especially now, even if it's not at full power, not full capacity. Yeah, it says and it doesn't look like it's it says his throne, so it's like one singular entity, it seems like. Yeah, that's a good point. So is this owl looking alien or being on the moon this one singular entity who has captured the entire planet's interest? Maybe. I feel like it's kind of like a hypnotism thing, because like yeah. the guy just steps out in front of it, you know? Yeah, I feel like I feel like he's not trying to be a part of it, but he like got sucked into it. Yeah, but then like, who edited the video to put that in front of it? Like, did he go back and do it? But because it seems like whenever you look at the the moon, you die. That's what we get from um, a show for children. Show for children is you die when you look at the moon. So how did who edited the video? Well, there's a quick flash right before the main credits pop up. Um, it says 1994 Community Television Foundation of Mason County. Oh, Inc. okay. So they probably edited it. I see. Yeah, yeah. which doesn't make sense though, because didn't we? I mean, it wouldn't make sense if we were following the same um, train of thought where the people at the at the station are the good guys. Yeah. Damn it. Hmm. I'm looking through right now. I'm looking through the show for children one, the cartoon, and the second grave he comes to has a skeleton in it with like a almost an alien looking like creature. It's like got like a long tail and it's curled up in like a fetal position. Yeah. Um, has like a long beak and there's the two little legs or maybe wings that are kind of bent, similarly to the one, kind of similar to the one that we're seeing in this. This one doesn't have a beak though. No, not not like the one that you can see in in the yeah it I don't know in some ways it looks similar in some ways it's completely different yeah. I can't something else mm. I sort of notice and I don't think it makes any difference at all but the thi- the last frame here produced in cooperation with Civil Broadcasting Authority 
is taken from the perspective of the moon, and that's the Earth in the background. I don't think that makes yeah. any difference at all. But yeah, I, I noticed that too. I noticed that as well. Does that mean anything, or is it just like a stock? I image? guess maybe it's like he's watching us from the moon. Right. Maybe. His throne. He yeah. can see us from his throne. Are How we... would they? Well, no, that makes sense. I mean, I was gonna, I was making a stupid comment. Who sat on the idea that this guy who is Hank? You know, I think Nick said. Yeah. I was sat on the Hank idea Heidelman. that he, that maybe he is the first human that we meet that you know, is with them. Maybe. Well, we don't know if this is actually Hank Heidelman because the original title card. It, this gets uh this broadcast gets hijacked by whoever's doing this hmm. so that show star watching with hank heidelman looks like it's actually produced by an actual tv studio that makes sense. but it's this is just a guy with his with his uh vhs camcorder in the yeah. back in, in his back so you think like it, it got um overwritten yeah kind of like uh so those some of the other ones like um oh yeah the gps uh, the first episode like, ever right the mm -hmm. gps one Man, that one's so good. That's so creepy. Oh man, I miss. Mm. Well, That's you know what it good. what it could be is, um, once again, kind of like show for children. The Station Fifty Eight people are, you know, this is just an idea. They're fighting yeah. back, and so they're saying, "Hey, this is what know, happens if you look at the moon." You well, not only that, but they're trying to trick the aliens by saying, "Hey, this is just a stupid sky watching." program with hank whatever his name is you know yeah. and then they even show the title card and the first few minutes moments of it are, are just the state uh, local 58 tricking the aliens into thinking this is just a harmless broadcast but it's it, there maybe he's trying to warn us mm. yeah. you know but then again why would he say rejoice and why would he say his throne you know that's yeah that's just the <sighs> So are we pretty much on the level that it is some sort of entity though? Like it can't be anything human. For sure, I'm definitely on the, on board with that idea. Because I know last time we were saying it could be like another organization. Maybe there is. Maybe like there's an organization helping this entity. But I mean, I think it's still the entity as a as a whole. Yeah, is the antagonist of this story. Yeah, I feel like if it were an uh, organization that was helping them out, the video would be a little bit more high production. Maybe it is just True. like this weird entity kind of uh, like, I don't know, making the airwaves different. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to. Well, you know, like if it were, if it were, if he were employing people, you, you know, to some extent to help him out, wouldn't it be a little bit more high quality than this? Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Oops. I'm also, going... some people in the sorry, no, no, no. Uh, some people in the comments. I was just looking at them. Um, are thinking that those little that arrow that's in the moon and the little like um, craters behind it are like some sort of like alien city or like some sort of civilization. Yeah, yeah it that's looks kind like of it. what I thought. Yeah, it might be something like that too. That's what I was like thinking. from a top down view. Yeah, I pulled up an image of the first alien that we see from the first episode from uh, You Are on the Best Available Route. They are, they're long spindling. They have like a triangle shaped torso and like a long head. So I, there is multiple entities, but this might be like the big one. Because yeah, like, maybe it's a, yeah, maybe it's a couple entities working together. True. Because like the, it's, it's definitely an alien looking creature from the first episode anyway. It looks weird. I'm wondering if this is because you know in weather service, um, it shows the moon and, and like the city going insane and people screaming in the background. Yeah. Don't look at the moon. Don't look at it. Then it changes to do look at it. I wonder if this. Well, maybe I guess not because it's on the same channel. But I was wondering if maybe this is a recording of that same event. Oh, because oh. they're screaming at the beginning of the. They're screaming at the beginning before the title card comes up, like right after the title card at that hard cut. You can hear screaming in the background. Whoa! Yeah, that's true. I didn't hear the yeah, screaming. Yeah. I heard it. I didn't have my headphones on. That's that's possible. Maybe it's like footage of the same day. Do we know what year that happened in? It says 1994 is like what the copyright. Well, no, is. the we're talking about the event. Oh, uh, weather the meteorological. Report. Do we know? Yeah, if we know what year that happened in, we might be able to piece them together. It could be the same um, day. Let me see. I'll, I'll pull up a timeline real quick and see. 
I'm gonna go with dude. Here. I feel like this is more important than we think it was initially. Maybe, maybe. I think. I mean that. I think that all the videos are important. Like, yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't think anyone sounds, is. That sounds kind of dumb. I guess what I'm saying is, all the videos have the equal level of importance, especially because he's. You know, it's very rare that you get a piece of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. We just. Yeah. I bet you. I bet you what it is is this video seems so significant, but then whenever he decides to upload another video, it's gonna be the aha moment that oh, yeah. that's why the rejoicing comes from. Or, so we're in like a little bit of a limbo here. Maybe. Well, it's more. It's more. Maybe like, it's like the build up to. Well, it's more like he he's giving us kind of like in a five hundred piece puzzle. Like I can give you a corner piece. Or I'll give you like a middle piece, but those two pieces don't connect. Mm-hmm. You got to get the rest of the pieces where it should all mix, like the big picture kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he has to have an end in mind, right? Because like he wouldn't be making this without like a clear Absolutely. vision. He's, he's also, well, I mean, he's a guy who's been working on stuff for a long time. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. If he's a good, a good writer, point. then yeah. Because mm. I mean, it would, it's real. I mean, the I, I keep forgetting that this is like ongoing. So it's like, we still don't know what the. I, I assume we're gonna get answers eventually, and I'm I'm excited. Yeah. But you know, we don't have like if you really think about it in all the videos he's released, we don't have like a lot of actually concrete answers. Yeah, it's all just kind of speculation. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and that's kind of that's kind of the point, uh, I guess, in his videos. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, someone someone is saying this t- sky watching. Uh would take place fifth in the overall timeline. So it's in the middle. When does the meteorological event happen? Uh, I'm trying to find that out. That's interesting. The wiki that I saw said it took place third in the uh, timeline. Hmm. I'm on look58fandom.wiki. <laughs> no one else can use the wiki. Super com. legit. No one can use it. Yeah, no one can use it. <laughs> yeah, that. no one even knows that site exists. Exactly. We just made it, actually. That's why. Um, let's see. Episode TV. Bang. Uh, let's see. Someone's putting them in order. It looks maybe. Maybe. No, this is wrong. It's not in order. So the. Mm. What One of the episodes. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say that. Um. I get what you say. Uh, when I was rewatching the video just now, like I, I see that like the lines in the moon kind of resemble circuitry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, so, I guess he, whoever the he is from his throne, lives on the moon, or, or maybe the moon is where because have you guys ever heard of the um, term ex cathedra? No. It's, it means no. It means Latin from, uh, literally means from the chair. Oh. Uh, and it basically it's saying in, in uh, Roman Catholic theology, when the Pope speaks ex cathedra or from the chair, it means that like it's it's a decree. Kind of like when kings would make decrees like from the throne room. That's why the throne room has like a lot of high importance in uh, medieval mythology or just in history because the throne room was where decisions were made. So maybe the the moon maybe he quote unquote or whoever he is maybe he doesn't they don't live on the moon but mm. the moon is where all their power comes from mm. which I, which i guess is an idea that had previously been explored um by like you know matt patron game theory and just a lot of the websites that i've seen that the moon obviously the moon is a focal uh central figure in this narrative mm-hmm. Uh, but maybe they don't live on the moon. Maybe they use the moon because it's such a strategic yeah, place. Yeah, it's so, so close, close yet you know, like out of reach of humans, pretty much yeah. at this point. Which would, which would kind of make sense, because uh, I like Andy's idea a lot personally that they're not extra terrestrial; they're extra dimensional. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so maybe they're they're using the moon, even though they're not from this dimension. Like they found a way to tra- teleport themselves to the moon and do their operation from there. Yeah. Or maybe they were able to bring another moon from another dimension into yeah. this dimension. Whoa. And replace it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Because their moon, it looks, it looks yeah. very different. It looks different it than our moon. It doesn't look like our moon. Yeah. No. It looks like live. 
So like whenever it goes away and then comes back for a second, maybe like it's a different moon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, a moon the, yeah. napping. Ooh. Ooh. And, and it happened in the '60s when Linda B. Johnson was around. Or maybe oh. that's like maybe that was like when everything sort of maybe happened. Well, if this if this broadcast took place in the '90s, like I wonder if there was something that happened in the '90s that was you know historically indicative of the moon or space in general. Like I know the space race happened in the '60s, and by yeah. the '90s we had been to the moon and back. Yeah. So I don't Would know. You know maybe the the time stamp doesn't really mean anything like in previous videos. Yeah, but like, Maybe. like I, yeah, once again, the time stamp just indicates when the source video was made, but it doesn't necessarily indicate when it was released or shown. Well, we I mean, it would make sense. Solid... Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, like if we were going with the idea that the, that they're being hijacked, it's possible that these guys, that these aliens, could have hijacked or taken, uh recordings of old things and broadcast mm. them in the modern day true thinking that they would work i mean there's no there's not really you could say that the, that the local 58 i guess the local 58 station those short station clips where it's like the coming up next those yeah. can be somewhat dated but it's not necessarily realistic because i've seen those still kind of uh uh outdated graphics and stuff on local channels today yeah, yeah. Well, we, on well, this, this one, one shot, it was shot on a VHS. And yeah, big eighties, nineties, so it had to be right. I haven't, I haven't paused on. But this, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I haven't paused on the thing. It says local fifty eight tonight, twelve a.m. Sky watching, twelve thirty a.m. City council meeting recorded October thirtieth, nineteen ninety one, and then two a.m. Right. is paid programming. So like it, it is set in the nineties because it's got this film grain and this nineties look to it. So I would say it's for sure nineties. At least ninety four, probably ninety five, yeah. because the the source that they're if it came using out later, is, yeah, yeah, is from ninety four. But then that's the next question that I was thinking is like, oh, so this is happening in ninety one, and then the, the last one was like ninety four. I was like, yeah. Wait, so then why is local fifty eight uh, showing a random board meeting from four years ago? Or Wait, if, why do you say ninety one? Because this is what it says. This is a recorder October at the 30th. beginning of the video when 91. it shows the up up next. It says uh, after this is supposed to be a. Uh, board meeting recorded in ninety. Oh, yeah. that can't. That has or, to be important. Or if we're, or I think what might have happened is maybe this is later on in ninety one, like November or something, and it happened in ninety one. But then this society or whatever did not, or the this community did not get their hands on it until ninety four. Maybe. Or maybe the maybe maybe they maybe the aliens are, or maybe people are maybe the broadcasting network is trying to warn them about something that'll happen in 94 that's true but also i've been i'm looking up right now there's a lot of stuff that happened in the 90s in space honestly like the hubble telescope went up in yeah. 1990 so i mean that's oh, yeah. something big there's a lot of shuttles that went out in 95 97 yeah mm. so a lot of stuff happened um you get a bunch of satellites went up uh, yeah that's a lot in the more world. stuff about like visualizing yeah, yeah well, 90s, the world became more connected. Yeah, the 90s yeah. were actually the biggest, it looks like the biggest decade for um, space travel and space things. Because space now, as much as we like to think it's we're advancing, we actually, they're talking about bringing down the International Space Station. We don't send up sh shuttles anymore, so I mean like. Aren't we trying to send up more like they're missions sending, to the moon? They're, they're doing more stuff to, about Mars, but like. I guess we're done with the moon, and they're bringing down the space station, so I don't know. Oh, why are they bringing down the space station? I know this off topic, they, but I'm just they, curious. The, apparently, Trump wants to take it down. I don't know why. No. But yeah, like, we'll see if that happens. I don't think it will, but um, but they've well, been talking the about purpose it for, of like, the ISS. Well, didn't he want to make like a space force or something? No, I'm about that. Space force, dude, that'd be cool. The Empire. I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. So why do they want to bring down the ISS? Mm -hmm. Do no we just idea. not use it anymore? I don't know. I mean, how much research are we doing in space now? I mean, not that obviously much. we don't know as much as we don't know as much as we can, but like I feel like we kind of stalled. Yeah, but well, I feel like we're kind of stuck. Maybe because of the moon. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe we found be. something up there that we decided well it's safer down on the ground. Exactly. Okay, so I have pulled up here. This is also on the Reddit. There's a. Um, a post. This was edited three months ago, so it hasn't had this 
to say about it, but we might see how this video ties in with these. These are uh, five of the biggest theories that the community thinks could it could possibly. And of course, the first one being the most the most obvious one or the most you know commonly arrived at one, the alien theory that aliens are hijacking signals to take over the Earth. Um, however, this actually has been disproven by the author himself. Oh no! Really? Yes. That's good because I'm I don't looking... like that theory. Yeah, that's I was that's what I that's why I was like I don't think it's I think it's way too simple of an explanation. It'd be like yeah. oh, that's too easy. Um. So. Oh, so yeah, so so he linked to the Chris the uh the disproven thing. Um, and let's see, what is it? It's saying something about aliens, and then some guy says that that theory is incorrect if you want to learn more about the series and then the guy the original poster uh replies can you give me the source for that and then the author himself responds Dang. it's incorrect oh oof got him got him so, so there's the alien theory yeah the next theory is kind of interesting but it's it's interesting um but it's not as interesting the hoax theory no, um, there's no way. Well, no, I mean, they're saying Maybe. that uh, it's it's all it's all just a hoax, and uh, you know that's a that's an easy that would be a very unsatisfying, um, an unsatisfying Ooh. theory if that's the one that's true. Yeah, I just found one that I like the most actually. <clears throat> the last, the other one is the cosmic horror theory. Yeah, that's which what, is kind of like the yeah. Lovecraftian. Yeah. Yeah, the Lovecraftian one, and there's a bunch of different link, uh, things that he posted, What's that including one about? a, uh, including a, um, a quote from Chris Chris Straub that says, the "Next episode won't help dissuade alien theorists, but the only alien I'm interested in portraying is the concept of something utterly foreign and unmappable to the human consciousness, mm. similar to the effect of, of a lo uh, a Lovecraftian entity has." Yeah, the one that I like here is the being hijacked by an occult force i like that one honestly hmm yeah i mean it would make sense like who else would worship the moon except some weird cult folks mm -hmm. dang someone like really went into this this is a really long post on reddit it's pretty good well what i was thinking also it's like what if it's just uh another group of humans what if there's no aliens or beings at all what if it's like the world is at war and the enemy per se, is doing this, or just humans, just regular humans. Mm. And what if with the, and with the You're on the Closest Rock video, they could have easily edited that alien in. They could have totally just faked. I mean, if it was shot in modern day, you can easily, vi you know, yeah, for sure. CGI yeah, was... something in. So yeah. what if it's just other people? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know why they'd want to do that, though. They'd need some sort of, like, motive. Motive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What if, like, in this alternate history, the U.S. or whoever is at war? Mm. And then the enemy realized that the best way to mess with us is through... Because, I mean, mo most of this, most of these videos um, are broadcasted, right? And, like, they're mm -hmm. set in a time where television was huge, where cable TV, yeah. local TV was huge. That's a great point. True and that. think about it this way. The the video that was made in the modern day, it was shot through a what? Cell phone. Like, cable TV mm. is nowhere near as huge as it was yeah. 20, 30 years ago. So now it's cell phones. So now it's a GPS. Dang. But that doesn't really account for... I mean, it's, I really like the point you made, but it doesn't really account for why they'd be posting it onto a, like a local channel. Wouldn't they want to post to some major network? Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. True. Dang. Maybe oh, there. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. What I was gonna say, maybe like where these broadcasts are happening during a time of like, let's say like mid war, like mid battle. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could say. And so the they somehow figured out that this is the best way to communicate with people. Hmm. Here's the, Maybe the internet went down. I don't know. Here's the problem, though. He has a Patreon, and I'm looking, and there's people who pay for his Patreon and are saying some things that 
dissuade it from being human at all. Honestly. Like he's okay. some guy was like, I looked at the Patreon pictures and then this happens. F- referencing the segment that could hit to what segment may might contain specifically the TV guide entry for it has some odd text in radiating and moves beneath the dead are moving below insects there. So like I don't know. But also apparently there's an unknown black and white segment in a look back. Uh, it's a teaser, so it like goes back and forth. In the future part, it shows an unknown substance climbing up a door. Like that can't be human at all. There's nothing that could climb up if it's like a fluid. But does it look like the fluid that was around the moon? Apparently, it looks like blood, most likely. Mm. You have still life in a future segment of um, future segment of still life. So like with the skull and writing quill. So like someone like went frame by frame. Someone went frame by frame and like literally Yeah. But apparently someone this got a lot of time on their hands. Yeah, it's this well, yeah, it's this maybe. theory about an occult force because it's like weather service depicts the moon either directly killing or mutilating or or mutating them into bloodthirsty bloodthirsty creatures which go around and kill people. Which would make sense for um you were on the fastest available route. If it oh. tur- if it turns someone else into this follower or this bloodthirsty creature, then you have contingency urges viewers to participate in mass suicide and familicide, preying on the blind patriotism of Americans during the 1960s. You have you are on the fastest route, a uh, uh, fast available route shows the death of a driver whose GPS was somehow compromised by an unknown skeletal creature in the woods. This creature may have also been the one to lure the driver to their demise, although no proof exists to support this. Show for Children shows a cartoon uh, where the main character, a skeleton named Cadaver, is investigating open graves in the graveyard, hoping to find the love of his life in one of them. The first two graves have a graphic depiction of a skeleton dying uh, and a dying creature of indeterminate species, respectively. And Cadaver dies in the third grave from the moon exposure. So, And then it says Public Eye, future segment. And that's what I was talking about, all that weird stuff right there. So that's just, that's like only the first mm. point of something. Of this this person's whatever. So does, does this latest video, Sky, which I want this, I don't know, it, it kind of, and I bet the creator is doing this for purpose. In a way, it throws a wrench into all the theories. Yeah. This is just, it's just so, it's vague enough to where you could be like, what the, like, this could go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Weather service seems well, to be like that the biggest leads video. Credence, that kind of leads credence to another theory that it's an anthology theory in that Local 58 isn't a single news channel airing all of this. It's more of a metaphorical rep- representation of people's experiences with surreal late, uh, late night TV. And actually, um, Chris Straub actually said something similar to this in one post saying, Local is not actually a designation or prefix for any channel. It only sounds like one. I used it because it I it is meant to suggest that this channel is potentially local to you, the viewer, no matter where you, in the what part of the country you're in. So maybe I can see it's, that. And so the the idea of that is maybe they're not connected, and maybe they're all you know. It's just uh supposed to be, um, it they're all individual like episodic different things and it's all supposed to be like right what kind of weird surreal yeah. thing but that, but, that wouldn't make sense though because like uh my I, I apologize if i'm cutting you off no um like because we i mean we kind of discussed this and got into this in the last one but like everything is tied to this one mason county area like a lot of this stuff right. is tied to it yeah. so that doesn't quite make sense and like everyone has weird experiences with the moon like it doesn't it, that doesn't really yeah, add up. I'm not t- completely in favor of that. I, I think it has some – I think it has some uh, – I think the anthology theory combined with a bunch of these other ones like the shared universe theory yeah. and the cosmic horror theory, I think all three all three tying together could make you know a bigger – tie in and account for a lot of the bigger picture type things. Like I, I think yeah. – I believe uh, in the anthology theory in that um, – the all these episodes that are coming out 
are di- are very different in their own right and they're all taking place in a different time like they're all di- uh they're not they're all they're not all coming out like sequels to a film and they're all in the same you know span of time they're all ones in the 60s and ones in the 80s and and they're all different genres in and of themselves um and most of them deal with different topics so the anthology theory is correct in that sense hmm i still think that they all connect in our joined as part of a larger universe or a larger yeah image. larger picture yeah that would be i mean it makes sense and it yeah. would be the most like not gonna lie it'd be the most exciting <laughs> probably because there are obvious themes that are running in all the videos i mean maybe not all the videos but there are obvious themes that are at least in two videos or you know not yeah, everybody there are has connections the same theme. between yeah. multiple multiple mm-hmm. videos yeah yeah I think this is what the third time that the the moon has made a has been a major point third yeah. or has been at like least... the the focus of the or at least a major playing uh a major player in one of these videos. Yeah. Hmm. I want to I don't know. I really want oh my gosh. So I'm looking at his Patreon right now. Um and there are images on here. They're not like scary, but like it's definitely more than we think it is. Like it's it's not at all simple from what I can tell. I don't no, know. No, I don't imagine it is. But like I don't know. I really want to become a patron and see if there's any more cuz I don't think but he's not hiding anything. So everything is like there. You I guess you if you just want to pay him, you can, but if not, you don't have to. He only has five things up, and let's see. I'm sure there's yeah. definitely more. He's just giving us bits and pieces here. There's not. Yeah. He's got a probably has a whole story or a whole idea planned out, and he's just yeah p- chipping away at it rather than giving us huge chunks in 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 a yeah. Like at, at, I'm looking at something. It says Figure Thirteen placement of pentathode assembly. Like what is a pentathode? Well, let me look that up. And uh, something to do with five. Penta means five. I don't pentathode. know. Pentathode. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's just a thing for local fifty-eight, and then it says on Reddit, "Why is no one talking about the pentathode?" For those who are new, Reddit. Oh, redditor. Why isn't anybody talking about the pentathode? And then the title of it says locator one one. 8-F-13A So they found something? So like this is definitely I don't know. I'm starting to think it's definitely He says it's not aliens, right? The creator says it's not aliens. Yeah, he said he he disproved that theory. So it's it might be like someone was saying a cult. It might be a um What else could it be? A just a being an extra dimensional being like like andy was saying i don't think it's anything human like honestly and if it is humans they're only helping this one entity or this yeah i don't think they're i get the feeling that they're not willingly helping either like like for some reason i get the feeling that everyone's like getting brain i mean because like telling you to look at the sky it's like everyone's being brainwashed or hypnotized or something in order to help this this extra dimensional creature yeah like I don't think people would do this willingly, except for maybe the cult folks. Yeah, if it is. Yeah, so. exactly. But even then, this this cult theory was posted over a year ago. So, I mean, I don't know if that's even legitimate now because of all the stuff that just came out. I think it could, could be. still be legitimate. Yeah, I don't see why. Legitimate. I don't mm. see any reasons like against it. Hmm. Interesting. I, th- I guess uh, it all comes down to the big, I don't know. <laughs> it yeah. could be anything. Yeah. I guess that's all we have for this time. It was just a little update video that we thought we should do. Just to yeah. tell you something that we already knew that we don't <laughs> know. <laughs> we exactly. don't know. And the, the author actually, Chris Straub on, on Reddit, is actually pretty active in responding to things. So hmm. if Interesting. you want to take a deep dive into what's going on. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I follow him on uh, uh, Twitter. Yeah, that's how I found out. He tweeted the uh, the link. Mm. I saw it because I'm subscribed. 
But I saw it after you posted it, so. Mm. Yeah, if it wasn't for Noah, I would have never knew. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> and then I like went on YouTube and I was like, oh, hey, there it is. And then I was like, look at that. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it, though, until a while later, because for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know. Let's all assume the victory position. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh my no. gosh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nick, you feeling okay? Feeling brainwashed? I don't know. I kind of look at the moon. Oh, no. <laughs> well, lucky for me, it's overcast. So, oh my yeah, gosh. screw you, moon. Is it? I, I can't see outside. I have well, you do live. I have those wooden blinds. Me, so. Yeah, also. I live next to a big city that has a lot of lights. I don't know. Sometimes you can't see the, the stars. Sometimes. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm thinking about moving, boys. I moved to L.A. <laughs> don't do oh. it. It's too expensive. It oh. takes you an hour to get anywhere. Bro, that's Atlanta right now. Bro, the president came here. Oh, God. Just to date it. The president to... was in L.A. Dang. I don't know why. Guys. Yeah? Guys. Yeah. Um. This is... So... Vanderbilt is in Nashville, but another school that's in Nashville, it's a kind of a big school, but not, you know, crazy, crazy big like Vanderbilt big, Belmont University. Yeah. Well, it turns out that Belmont University, and that actually happens to be where my mom works, is going to be hosting the third and final um, presidential debate for this next coming. Oh, my uh, gosh. So hmm. Nashville is going to be absolutely a madhouse and my mom (laughs) when when that came what that when that came out and that was announced and everything my mom was like i'm gonna take the week off and i'm gonna leave the state oh my gosh (laughs) honestly all right right. well i think that's probably gonna do it for us i might edit that last part out tell me if i should (laughs) why it's Eh. a little unrelated but well Eh. i guess yeah yeah But. but i don't know i don't mind it but there's, it adds a bit of a genuineness to it. <laughs> That's true. That's it's, true. All isn't right. it obvious? Do whatever you do. Do whatever you want, man. I don't really. Isn't care. it obvious? Nah, the president's controlling the moon. Duh. <gasps> President. Oh my gosh, President Moonforce. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, we just want to do a little update video. Uh, it's about the length of a regular episode. Honestly, <laughs> we got into theories. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do an episode tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think I don't, we didn't discuss if something. we were or not. Um, so I guess with that, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Lorecast.